Shut up and sit down. Sports fans, and welcome to another night of Hiller Volleyball. I'm Steve Sweetapp along with Tom Nappy and John Ritz on camera, coming to you from the Framingham High School Gymnasium for the state's semifinal sectional match between your Hopkinton Hillers and the Algonquin Tomahawks. Should be a great match, Tom. It certainly should. Both teams have a lot of contributors. If you look at the Hillers, of course, you have Angie Grabmeyer with a 147 kill, she's inactive today, so someone's gonna have to pick up that slack, but Rachel Lorette, Caden Boyce, Ashley McDermott, Kate Powers, Morgan Allen, are just a few that have contributed heavily to this Hillers team in Algonquin. They have some contributors of their own that we'll talk about throughout this broadcast. Yeah, and uh, the last game, this is Angie's second game, she'll miss with a ankle sprain, and everyone stepped up their game last, uh, two nights ago, so I expect the same from them tonight. They're getting a little instructions from the referees before the match. Hopkinton coming in 19-0 with the number two seed in the section. Needham got the number one seed based on a coin toss, and Algonquin is the number three seed. So they did play earlier this season. Hopkinton won in five sets and a very close match throughout. And the winner of this game will play the winner of the next game that's going to take place right here at Framingham High School between 16 and 0 Needham and 16 and 2 Concord Carlisle. Needham undefeated with the one seed, Concord Carlisle with the coin flipper fifth seed. Uh, just nothing but good teams left in this very competitive Central West Division I bracket. Yep. And for Algonquin, some of the players to look out for, you got Olivia Chiota, the captain, 121 kills on the season, 16 blocks. You got Chloe Chiota, who's also a captain, 159 kills and 158 digs. The team leader on Algonquin for digs is Hannah Jayswall, who has 219. And then you got Rachel White, who has 162 points and 508 assists. So some heavy contributors for this old Gawkwin team as well. So let's send it down to courtside. Quinlan. Number six, Kate Sestari. 
Number seven, Angie Grabmeyer. Number eight, Amelia Sins. match underway. So this is the first of the two sectional semifinal games tonight. Concord Carlisle and Needham will play immediately following this match. Winner of this game will play the winner of that game on Saturday at uh, Wellesley High School. Time has not been determined yet, so if the Hillers do emerge with a victory, check the HCAM website and we'll keep you posted. Out there on the floor for the Hillers, We've got Morgan, Hannah, and Kate Powers, Mirabella, Ashley, Bub, and Rachel. Morgan will check in for Kate momentarily. So Hiller's coming in 19-0. Last time uh, they played was two nights ago. They defeated Shrewsbury in the quarterfinal match. Three straight sets. 
And Hopkinton and Algonquin did meet once during the regular season with Hopkinton winning that match in five sets. They do have another common opponent in Shrewsbury. And Algonquin split with Shrewsbury this year. So should be a competitive match from the get-go. Certainly should. And we're underway. Allen receives that. Rachel off the net, but couldn't control it. Oh, Gawkwin draws first blood. Rachel White serving. Allen gets to that. Hannah bump set to Bub. Arm bar keeps it alive, pushed over. Morgan gets to that. Rachel outside. Bub cross court. Kept alive by the Tomahawks. Mirabella, Rachel in the middle. McDermott hits the open spot. Side out. Well, Ashley McDermott is one of those who are going to have to step up with the absence of Angie Grabmeyer. 61 kills on an impressive season for McDermott. Lorette serving. Nice serve from Rachel. Tipped. Nobody covered the hole. There are two blocks. Rachel was filling in behind the block. Pushed wide. Sydney Ciro serving. And that's quite long. Side out, Hopkinson. <coughs> Millie checking in for Hannah. Bob back to serve. Gymnasium feels a little bit like a cave, Tom. It certainly does. It's a low ceiling, and the ceiling is in play. So if the ball does hit the ceiling, as long as it's not the third hit, it's in play. There's quite a hit there by Rachel White for Algonquin. And that's where the ceiling, both, both these teams hit the ball hard. That could make for an interesting dynamic today. Floater in. Kept alive. Great play. And good, that was a good swing from Chiata. Captain Chloe Chiata. She had 159 kills, 158 digs this season. And mishandled by Millie. Well, you don't want to fall too far behind if you're the Hillers. Morgan, Rachel bump set outside, Pellucci. And nice point for the Hillers. Side out. Morgan Allen back to serve. Kate Powers checks in. McDermott leaves. Good effort to get to the ball by Algonquin there, but you're not keeping that one in play. Sam, Rachel, Kate Powers. Good swing. One thing I have noticed here early is if Rachel gets a good set, the dump over is going to be wide open. No one's filling in behind the blockers. I think part of that is because Algonquin's a tall team. Right. Morgan sets that deep. Free ball. Kate gets to that. Rachel, back set. Mirabella kept alive. Great job by Mirabella. Uh, Millie. Timing was off on that. She hit it on the way down. Side out, Tomahawks. Morgan, Rachel, Millie. Millie took a little off that just to make sure she got it over. Tipped. Melissa nice. die with the point there. Nice heads up play from the Tomahawks. There's a big gap on the floor. Seven to four, Algonquin in front. Sam, Rachel, outside to Millie. Good swing from Millie. Back row hit, nope. Sam, and to Kate Powers, and that's long. Hit the, hit the corner ref. 
Yep, just a little too much mustard on it. Four point lead here for the Tom Hawks early in the first set. This best of five semifinal match. Oh, that wasn't pretty, but it worked. Impressive point there by Sensity. Rachel departs. Cassie checks in for her. Catherine checks in for Mirabella. Leighton back to serve. Hillers down three. Good serve. Great serve. Lake serves are going to be key today for the Hillers. Catherine floats that one in. Just a little push over. Morgan, Millie. Oh, great block from Kate Powers. Rejected. That was sent back faster than it came over. Oh, they call. Oh, did they call a net violation? I don't know if it was a net or a reach over, but it didn't look like a reach over, so she must have hit the net. But I didn't see the I didn't see the call. Millie. Bump set back to Millie. Cross court. Too much space open in the middle on yeah. the other side. Sydney Saro saw it and took advantage. Four point lead again for the Tomahawks. Hillers need a side out here. Morgan gets to that. Catherine. Bub tipped. Cassie down the line, off the ceiling. Kate. Oh, nice tip. Great tip. Good heads up play from Cassie. That was a great little pushover. She saw the open space and put it right in there. Hannah Quinlan checks in for Millie. Bub checks in for Sam. Hannah back to serve. Let's see if Hannah can put a nice run together here. Good serve. Nice block. Algonquin keeps it alive. Morgan. Net by oh, Carey. Good point for the Hillers. Hillers within two. Handled well by Algonquin. And a hitting error. Hillers within one. Oh, great serve. Hannah gets to it. Bump set. Not much Bub could do with that. Just played it safe. Morgan gets that. That's in play. I thought that was going to go in the hoop. That was like a little carnival action there. <laughs> do you get tokens for that? <laughs> nice oh, play. What a great point. That was the point of the evening, just because the backboard came into play. Good block. Whoa, Kate Powers. Get that out of here. Blocks a back row kill. Wonderful job. You don't see that often. A net block on a back row hit. Kate Powers holding down the middle of that front line. Uh, nice run of serves though from Hannah. Side out, Algonquin, tied up at 11. Morgan. Catherine to Kate, put away. The slam down. 
Coach Grabmeyer gave the foot stomp on that point. That's when you can tell she's into it. Powers with the serve. Kate, Bub gets it over. That's going to be low. Good point by Olivia Kyoto. Yeah. Hopkinson was slow to react on that. They saw the set was poor, but Kyoto got to it, just tipped it over. And mishandled by Cassie. And she had trouble when, or on uh, Monday night receiving serve. Shrewsbury was targeting her. Morgan, Catherine McDermott. Good swing, yeah. side out. Tied up at 13. Lorette checking back in, as is Pellucci. Lorette, Bub puts that cross court. Tipped over, right now, net violation. There we go. Lorette with another great serve. Hannah, Rachel, back set. Oh, what a point. Wow. What a, that went down the, the, the height of the net and just dropped right in. Great swing from Pellucci. That was unreal. Rachel drops that one in. Oh, great save from Algonquin, but uh, Carey. She did that on Monday night. She hit two bullet serves and then just fluttered one right over the top of the net. Another good serve. And net violation again. Yeah, I saw that top of the net move. And Coach Henningsen calls timeout. Great comeback from the Hillers. Unbelievable so. comeback. It's been a great team effort so far. Yep. A lot of contributors in these er in this early set one. Yeah, particularly on the uh, on the setting, you got to give uh, some props to both Rachel and and Catherine Layton as you know a young sophomore coming up from the JV team. She's uh, she's handling herself very well here. Yeah, I love what Kate Powers is doing. On the front line for the Hillers, already a couple impressive blocks. And she's really uh, controlling the front lines of this game so far. I'm sure Angie wants to be out there with her teammates really bad right now, but she has to be impressed about how they're playing so far. So it's Bub, Mirabella, and Ashley up front, Morgan, Hannah, and Rachel in the back line. Serve, back set, blocked. Ashley keeps it alive. Rachel, Mirabella, nice swing from Pellucci. She's feeling it. Five point lead for the Hillers. Hamling entering for Algonquin.
Oh, nice bullet from Lorette right down the line. Oh, great handle from Quinlan. Bub. Oh. oh. Yeah, this set was too close to the net. It wasn't anything Bub could do there. Just try to tap it over. Side out Algonquin. Zero back to serve. Algonquin trailing by four. Morgan, Rachel pushes it outside. Pellucci just has to dump it over. And hitting error from Giotto. Millie checks in. That was a great dig from Hannah. Bub to serve. Nice serve from Bub. Ceiling's going to come into play. Whoa. Oh. That's always a tough one to play. Sam will check in for Bub. Olivia Chata back to serve. Morgan. Couldn't yeah. handle that. Solid serve there by Chiota. Another floater. Millie handles that. Rachel. Millie. Yeah, her timing is off right now. A little momentum turning a little bit. You can tell her approach isn't aggressive. Rachel McDermott. Free ball. Sam gets to it. Rachel in system. Dump over. There it is. There it is. Kate Powers checks back in. Morgan Allen back to serve. Hopkinton up by three late in the first set. That looked like a double hit. Rachel, Morgan comes in. Bump set. Pellucci. Oh, the power. There you go. Good, Good swing. Eye. Real quick boys soccer update. Took 11 penalty kicks, but Bishop Fien got the win over the Hillers. Congratulations to Hillers boys soccer on a tremendous season. Good knuckleball. Back row hit. Oh. Kate blocked it, but it came over anyways. Pellucci, Lorette, good swing from Lorette. Oh, what a block. Powers and Pellucci. Great double team. Jumped and Algonquin up. takes their second timeout. Powers jumped up and said, you're not getting this one by me. No. Nope. Well, some uh, momentum shifts throughout this first set. Yeah, it, it, it's been like we thought it was going to be. Good good seesaw back and forth between um, both teams. Yep. It took five sets for these two teams to get a result in their first meeting of the season. We'll see if tonight will have any difference than that. Yeah, and the fifth set was 16-14, so that was just... That literally went to the wire. We don't get many of those matches. So it's Mirabella, Millie, and Kate Powers up front with Rachel, Sam, and Morgan in the back row. And we got a free ball here. See if the girls can get in system. Good. Get to yes, Millie. Yep, there's a much much better approach from Millie. She's still a little tentative on her swing, but her approach was aggressive. Well, Gawkman just couldn't decide who's going to go for the hit. Kate, Rachel, back to Kate. Block Rachel with a great get. Millie, Rachel, 
Morgan. That's it, Millie. Push deep, Morgan gets to it. Mirabella. Millie, arm bar. Oh, and that's a great point earned from the Hillers. So set point for the first set. Rachel Loretta has the reactions of a cat. Unbelievable quickness. And that's out. Hillers take the first set, 25 to 17. This is going to be an exciting night, Tom. It certainly will be. That was an impressive start by the Hillers. A great team effort. Everybody contributing. A lot of fun to watch. They overcame a couple of momentum shifts towards Algonquin, held their own, and took set number one. We'll be right back with set number two. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. A gun. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al my gal and we love H Camp. Hey, I want to be a camp. We love, love H, -Camp. H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. And we're back for set number two here in Framingham in the first sectional semifinal game of the night, Hopkinton against Algonquin. Hopkinton took that first set 25 to 17, Tom. Yeah, that was impressive stuff by the Hillers, a great team effort. A lot of contributors in that first set, some great hits by Millie, Bub, and also Ashley McDermott played a big part as well. And we're ready to get the second set going. Morgan Allen serving. Floats it to the back row. Just a tip over. Bub gets down. Pushed over from Rachel. And that's a nice swing from Chiata. Olivia with a nice kill there. That's yeah, some good power on that one. Rachel White serving. Outside to Bub, good approach. Free ball. Let's see what the ladies can do with it. Morgan, Rachel, Ashley blocked. Ashley with an arm bar. Morgan, bump sets outside. Bub goes cross court. Back set, cross court. Morgan handles that. Rachel, Ashley in the middle. Oh. Well, she's going for the little pushover there. Didn't get enough under it. Hannah with a great dig. McDermott, Lorette, dump over. Okay, they're onto it now. McDermott goes deep. Lorette going outside. Good approach by Bub. And that's a Bub point. A little bub in the fair territory. Side out Hillers. Lorette serving. Mirapella with a great swing. Nice dig from White though. Put back. Hannah gets to it. Rachel outside to Bub. Great point from Bob. Coach Grabmeyer gave that one a two stomp. That means a lot. Does. <laughs> Usually she just gives the one emphatic stomp, but that was a double. You get the double, that means you did something right. White with a back set down the line. Hannah makes a great save back to Bob. Puts that one deep, took something off of it. Pushed over. Oh, that's a smart play from the senior. Chiato Olivia took that first hit, sent it to the back row. Side out, Tomahawks. And then she found the open floor once again there. Lead to serve. Morgan settles under that. Rachel. Bub switched sides with Mirabella. Now they go back again. 
That was another good swing from the other Chiata. That was Chloe. Mirabella, Rachel, back to Pellucci. That's a good swing from Mirabella. There you go. Both Chiatas were there for the block, but Mirabella just hit it too hard. Bub serving. Ooh. Still in play. Oh. Uh, Ashley wasn't looking. But she got tripped up a little bit as well. Uh, yeah. That's one of the, the problems with this low ceiling. It's going to come into play. The girl's got to be ready. Sam checks in. Little stutter step. Morgan gets to that. Rachel. Nice play from Mel. Double hit. Side out. McDermott goes back to serve. Powers checks back in. McDermott just flutters that one. Goes out. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know about, now they're saying someone tipped it. Side out. I don't know about that one. Yeah. It's one of the things we're, we're missing from our height up in the crow's nest in the home. We don't have as good an angle here. Sam, Rachel, Kay Powers. That's a nice save from Algonquin. And a hitting error from Chloe Giada. Side out. Cassie checks in for Rachel. Catherine for Mirabella. Layton back to serve. Hillers down by one here in the second set. Hopkinton took the first set, 25 to 17. Morgan gets to that. Catherine with his set. And a good swing from Cassie. Nice point there. Tied up at six. Another good knuckleball. White pushes that outside to Lee. Net violation. <coughs> I think it was Kate hit the net. Side out, Tomahawks. Lee serving. A little misfire there by Melanie Gilday. Mel was debating whether to tip, take that or not. Cassie, bump set from Kate Powers. Oh, there you go. Cassie White coming through big. Yeah, Kylie Martin tried to block that one, but just had a little too much on it. Bub checks in as does Hannah and Quinlan back to serve. Morgan, well, ball rolls onto the court. So we got a do-over. One of the few sports they do do-overs. It's from Algonquin fans, right? Should be a Hillers point. And oh. Hannah sails that one long. Side out, Algonquin. <laughs> Hannah, Catherine, Kate. Nice oh, play from Powers. Side out. 
McDermott checks in. Morgan back to serve for the second time. Already gone through the rotation. That's a free ball. McDermott pushes it wide. Good save from Algonquin. Blocked. No, never made it. Four hits. Pillars within one here in the second set. Dave Hamling checking in for Algonquin. Bub, Lorette, back to Bub. Rachel just puts that one to the back row. Nice block, great block from McDermott and Cassie. Ten ten. Giada, Hannah handles that. Rachel pushes it. Oh, it was Catherine pushed it over. Oh, Cassie goes into the stands. Yeah, good effort there. Side out. White back to serve. Rachel White had 162 points for Algonquin this season. Good save. Jada, oh, good get from Hannah. Back in the system. Good dig from White, bump set. Just pushes it. That's it, Morgan comes in. Bub goes deep. Blocked, arm bar, kept alive. Great hustle. Oh, Hopkinton deserves wow. that point. What a point. There is not a lot of teams that can keep that one alive. Lorette checks back in, as does Pellucci. Lorette back to serve. Nice knuckleball from Lorette. White, Giada, that's it, pumped over. Good get from Morgan. Lorette goes outside to Pellucci. It's in. Good swing from Pellucci. Marabella Pellucci has been on fire all night. Back row hit. Hannah. Lorette with a dump over. I thought it landed out, but I guess it, it was it, it. No, McDermott touched it. Back and forth we go. Lead back to serve, tied up at 12. Lorette, McDermott. White with a back set, and Chata timing was off. Side out, Pillars. Mel checks back in. It was a great rotation from Hannah Quinlan. A couple of great saves. Bub to serve. Bump set outside. Chiata down the line. Bub gets to it. Lorette back set. Pellucci. Set was a little too close to the net. Side out Tomahawks. Olivia Chiata back to serve. Tied up at 13. Ooh, just gets that one over the net. Lorette goes outside. Mel, great. Oh, that's still alive. I thought it was a point. Not yet. A net violation. Mel hit the net. Tough break there for the Hillers. Morgan, Rachel, outside to Mel, cross court. 
Shot is there. White. It's set. Blocked. Another good block from McDermott. And that's going long. Side out. 14-14. Cape Powers checks in for Morgan Allen. Ashley McDermott back to serve. Girls need a little run here. Good serve. Pushed it outside, free ball. And not even a free ball. White back set to Jada, blocked. That's just blocked wide. Great play at the net tonight from the Hillers. Yeah, it really is. Seen a lot of impressive blocks. And they may not have all the height in the world, but they're playing like they do. Morgan, Lorette, outside, Mel. Good approach. Gilday with a nice put away. That was a beauty. Cassie checks back in, as does Catherine. Catherine will go back to serve. White. Oh, Morgan with a good get. Catherine bump sets it back. Oh, Mal, just a little hitting error. A little lackadaisical on the approach. Side out. Hamling to serve. All tied up at 16, unbelievable. Morgan, Leighton, Mel. Nice play from Mel. Bump set backwards. Back to Cassie, tipped, kept alive. White in the middle, that's out. Side out, Hillers. Hannah checks back in. She'll go back to serve. Bub comes in on the front line. White pushes it outside. Morgan handles that. Catherine, Bub goes right down the middle. Back outside, blocked. Kept alive, Morgan gets to it. Kate Powers. Shada thumps it over, back to Kate. She wants it, she was calling for it. There it is. Kate was demanding the ball. That's what you want to see. Pillars with a two point lead here in the second set. Hopkinton took the first set in this best of five. First semifinal section one match. There's a nice serve. And Algonquin calls their first timeout. Get two timeouts per set. Just trying to settle the girls down as Hopkinton's opened up a three point lead here, Tom. Yeah, it's gone back and forth the whole way, but the Hillers starting to distance themselves a little bit. And impressive serving in this set by the Hillers. They're sending it to the back line pretty much every time. Yep. And yep. they just continue to have a good all-around performance out there. And some of these digs that Morgan Allen is making and some of these saves are just unbelievable. That's why she's a defensive specialist. Well, she certainly is a good one. Yeah, we've been saying it since the first game of the season. This is a great serving team. So 19 to 16 we're here in the second set. Quinlan will get us back underway. Another good serve from Hannah. Oh, blocked again. Kate Powers. What a great match she's having.
Tipped over. Morgan, bump set outside to Bub, down the line. White, little bump set. That's it. That's it, Bub. Arm barred over. Morgan, Catherine, Cassie approaches. There's a good swing from White. Cassie White having quite the set. 21-16. I'm just noticing now, Steve, but a big Hillers fan section here today. Yep. Yeah, they were late arriving, but they're starting to make some noise. Good swing from Cerro there. Side out, Algonquin. Jazz ball to serve. Morgan receives that. Pushed outside to Bub, and Bub's long. A little too much on that one. Morgan, Catherine in the middle, Powers blocked. He keeps it alive, Morgan bump set to Bub. Tipped, White, short set, Morgan handles it well. Outside to Cassie. Whoa. Oh! It's gonna be a dump. Chiata. Kate pushes it to Bub down the line. Chiata with a great save. That's long. What a volley, what a point. That's, that was a great rally between both teams. Good defense on that. Oh, Bob! <laughs> Another Bub point. Well done. And Coach Higginson, Henningson, pardon me, calls timeout using her last timeout of the set. Well, the Hiller's starting to take control in these last few serves. And it, start, it was back and forth up to about 16 apiece. And just like the, the first set. It was, it was, you know, just back and forth until uh, mid-teens, and then Hopkinton just put their foot down and away they went. Yep, seven of the last nine points belonging to the Hillers. Impressive stuff. They can't take their foot off the pedal though, they gotta keep going. Because Algonquin is a very talented team. I'm not sure at this level Coach Grabmeyer has that in their minds. Morgan Allen gets us back underway, puts it down the line. White, outside. Great recovery from Cassie. Outside to Bub, cross court. Oh! And that's four. So here we are at set point for the second set. Four kills in the set for Bub. Hopkinton fans just cheering the girls on. Morgan. Nice serve. White, they're going short in the middle. Oh. All right, you got a little room for error right now. Yep. Catherine just lunged with an arm bar. Couldn't get to it to control it. White back to serve. 24-19, Hiller's in front here. Still second set point. Morgan. McDermott. Out. Oh. Good to see the aggressiveness from the from the middle hitters, though. She wanted that set to be over and done with. 24-20. Morgan, Catherine, outside, Bub. There. Bub point, and that's the second set. 25 to 20. We'll be back with the third set momentarily. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. 
And we're back for set number three. Hoppington just took the second set, 25 to 20, for a two set to zero lead. Pretty entertaining second set, Tom. Yeah, it really was. And it was back and forth throughout the first half of it or so. And then the Hillers went on a couple of runs and they were able to take charge of that second set. And once again, just another great team effort out there. Everybody contributing. On the front row, we've got uh, Ashley, Bub, and Rachel. Back row of Mirabella, Hannah, and Morgan. White will be serving for Algonquin. And we're underway. Handled well by Mirabella. Outside, Bub, good approach, tip. Side out, Hillers. Good start. Can't get enough bump points. She has been unreal today. Lorette to serve. Man, Morgan just couldn't get to that. That's it. About six sets in a row, they're going to Chiata on a quick set in the middle. Bub handles that one. Bump set outside, Mirabella. Nice approach. Great swing from Pellucci. There it is. <laughs> Millie checks in for Hannah. Pellucci has been tremendous on the corner. Bub back to serve. I think whenever Bub scores a point, the Hillers fans need to get like some kind of chant a little, going. A little Bub, Bub chant. chant. Ball had a, some sweat on it. Bub asked for a dry ball. Back row hit from Lee. Bub gets to that. Rachel, back set. Pellucci cross court. Lee handles that. Bump set. Morgan, Rachel, that's going to be good, con oh, oh. good control from Mirabella. Bub hits the floor. Rachel pushes it outside. Millie didn't go. Sam checks in for Bub. Olivia Chiata back to serve. Millie, Rachel, oh, and Millie's game is off today. Just not as her usual explosive self. Morgan, McDermott. Okay, it's a free ball. Let's see if we can get back in system here. Don't need to get in system. Hitting error. Kate Powers checks in. Morgan back to serve. Tied up at three here in the third set. Great block. Oh, man. Stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey. That it was. Morgan down the line. Sam, Rachel back set, Mirabella, and a little too much mustard on that, side out. Chloe Chiata to serve. Oh, that was going long. Get 
Sam. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Sam handles that one. Rachel, Kate Powers, sends it deep. White, outside. Another great block, kept alive though. Well done. Kate is having a fantastic game at the net. She certainly is. She has just dominated the front lines. Cassie checks in for Rachel. Catherine for Mirabella. And Catherine will go back to serve. Hopkinton down one. Oh, no, uh, there. Another <clears throat> great defensive positioning from Cassie and Kate, but just went off the outside of Kate's left hand and fell on the court. <laughs> oh, yeah. the official couldn't see it. No, it was good. The yeah, head official over rules there. Morgan, nice pushover from Millie. Cassie went deep. And side out, Hopkinton. Hannah checks in for Millie. Bub for Sam. Hannah serving. Hopkinton trails by two. Great serve. Bump set outside. Morgan. Wow. Kate keeps it alive. Catherine gets it over. In the middle. Hop continues. Oh, you might see Coach Grabmeyer call a timeout if this keeps up. They seem a little off right now. They gotta get back in the game. Hannah, Catherine bump set. Cassie flicks it over. Bump set, Bub. Wow, impressive by Algonquin. Kate, back set. Oh, net violation. Hopkinson point. Oh, there it is. Well, it was a good thing it was a net violation because there was no doubt that Kate Powers had a double hit on that. But the net violation happened first. Kate Powers serving. Nice serve. Oh, what a beauty of a serve. She could do it all. Free ball here. There you go. Pillars within one here in the third set. Hopkinton took the first two sets in this very exciting semifinal sectional match, Division I. And a little too much air under that one. A little too much Kate there. Yep. A little too much power by Powers. Morgan checks back in. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I know. Bub sends that deep. Good. Great first hit. Nicely done. Two great first passes from Hannah there. Yeah, the officials are talking it out. They're giving it to Ogok, but I disagree with that. Whoa. 
the side judge on the far side said Hillers, and then the head official said Algonquin. I heavily disagree with that. It wasn't even close. Outside, Bub. Yeah, there you go. The volleyball gods have spoken. <laughs> Lorette checks in for White. Pellucci for Layton. Lorette back to serve. Good hit by Kyoto. Yep, Chloe with a good cross court hit. Side out, Tomahawks. Lee will serve. Hopkinton needs a side out here, trailing by three. Hannah, Rachel. And that's out. Oh, he's in. Just in. I didn't think that was in. Great, great hit from Pellucci. Hello, Millie checks back in for Hannah. Well, you're tall enough to fully see that line. <laughs> I'm tall enough. I, the eyesight might not be there. <laughs> Bub to serve. I think it was right on the line. Yeah, the down referee was very emphatic. How about that, an ace. Another Bub in the books. That's right. Said he can't get enough bump points. New volleyball stat right there. Free ball. Let's see if we can get in system here. Rachel, right in the middle. McDermott. Oh, oh yeah. Great swing from McDermott. Get that out of here. Morgan, Rachel outside, Mirabella just lolly pops it over. Yeah, so they're, they're doing the short set now in the middle. Sam checks in for Bub. And Olivia Chiata back to serve. Algonquin up by one here in the third set. Best of five. Lorette, Sam, great swing wow. from Sam. That got a foot stomp from Grabmeyer. What a send over. I think that should have gotten two stomps. It's a great save from Rachel. I'd go three on that one. <laughs> Allen to serve. Nice serve from Morgan. Sam. Kate. Morgan hits oh. the floor. Oh, nah, ah. that's a poor set from Rachel. I hate to give those ones away. Yeah. That was a great save, however, by Allen. Chloe Chiata to serve. Tomahawks back up by one. There's a service error. Good side out. Cassie checks in for Rachel. That's Catherine for Mirabella. That was the last thing you want if you're Algonquin. Yeah, don't give the Hillers free points. Catherine puts it down the line. Bump set outside, just pushed over. Morgan comes in, bump set. Millie, there we go, Millie. Nice hustle from the Tomahawks though. It was good hustle, but just too good of a hit by Millie. Hopkinton, one point lead. Oh! <laughs> Chiswell could not get out of the way of that one. Nope, she was letting it go and she was ducking and it just hit her in the head. It's a head ace.
Cassie. Morgan sends it across. Millie down the line. White goes outside. Oh, Sam missed it. Side out. Zero checks back in. Melissa Dye. She's a pretty good server. And he's in. Tied up. Sam handles that one. Catherine, Cassie went cross court, off the ceiling, side out. Nice point there. Hannah checks back in, as does Bub. Hamling checks in for Algonquin, Quinlan to serve. See the girls put a little run here, put a little distance between themselves and Algonquin. That serve will help. Oh, it certainly will. Well done. Another great serve. Blocked, kept alive. Back set to Chloe. And Kate Powers. And Algonquin calls a timeout here. Kate Powers has just been unreal. She's been a beast at the net tonight. She's going to be fun to watch the next couple of years, Steve. Yep. Three-point lead for the Hillers. Impressive stuff. And they started out a little flat in this third set, but they have really turned it around and stepped back on that gas pedal. And the winner of this match plays on Saturday at Wellesley High School. They'll play the winner of the second game here tonight, which is Needham against Concord Carlisle. Game time still has not been determined, so check the HCAM website and we'll keep you posted. Needham wins would be a matchup of the undefeated. Yep. The Hillers finish this out, of course. Oh, great, great play by Hannah. Bub. Oh, what a block, Cassie, so low. Hillers owning the net. 21-17. Not sure what that was. Well, a little about. miscommunication there from All right. the Tomahawks. Caught him off guard. 22-17. Handcuffed again. Cassie, Catherine, Powers, point! <laughs> Kate Powers has just thrown into this game today. Did I just see the ball burst into flames or what? That was a great hit. Hiller's two points away from ending this match and advancing to the sectional finals. Oh, oh. what a serve. Morgan, Catherine, outside, Bub, cross court, tipped, kept alive. Back to the middle, Cassie, give it to Cassie, she earned it. Oh, just long. Great defensive play from White, though. What a service run by Hannah Quinlan. She has been a tremendous from the service line tonight. Side out. Jay's well to serve. Algonquin trails by five. Bub handles that. Set to. Powers in the middle. Could be a net violation. Oh, Side out Hillers. We are at match point, folks. 
Ashley McDermott spins in. KP to serve. Outside, pushed. Catherine, bump set outside. Bub, cross court, off the ceiling. Nice save from Algonquin. Hannah, Catherine, Bub, point! That's it. Hopkinton takes the third set, 25 to 18, for a 3 0 victory against Algonquin. Hopkinton moves on to face the winner of the Concord Carlisle Needham game. What a match, Tom. That was unreal. What a great performance by the Ailers. They're missing Angie Grabmeyer. They'd love to have her out there, but it doesn't matter because anyone on this roster can step up. And today it was a great effort uh, by everyone that was out on the floor. Just a great team win yep. for the Hillers. Yep, just gotta say that all of the girls stepped up. They knew that they're not they're without Angie, and everybody played very, very well. Coach Grabmeyer and her assistants had the girls primed. They were ready to go, so. I don't know what else we can say, Tom. On to the sectional finals. That's, that's a, those are good words. So uh, for Tom Nappy and John Ritz, this is Steve Sweetup, and we'll see you on the next broadcast. Oh